Okay, go. Keep on going. Go straight all the way back. What do you have to find? I gotta find. I gotta find this guy. Okay, see if you can find it. Oh boy! You Ooh. gotta find it in the picture. That's though. the hardest one. You know what? You should try this one. Okay. Try. I found it. Did you find it? Nice job. <laughs> That's so good. Here, try this one. This is the next hardest one right here. This is Orion. Okay? And remember, that's his belt. We're making a dragon. We're making a dragon? A pentacle. Hey guys, so it is currently Monday and I'm about to leave and take the kids to Michael's. So I haven't filmed, vlogged, sat down and did any type of video for a few days now. Um, if you guys follow me on social media, you guys know, unfortunately, I lost my brother-in-law. He passed away and it's just been really hard on us um and i've just been cooped up in the house i haven't really wanted to do anything or really go anywhere so i figured today i would get out of the house um i think it'll be good for both me and the kids to get out of the house and try and to get our minds um, yeah all right go finish eating go finish eating you have to go to the dining room table and eat go finish so we gotta leave we were supposed to leave like five minutes ago um I just think it's good for us to try to get our minds off of things just for a little bit and it'll leave the house. We've been in the house the past three days. We haven't gone anywhere at all. So like I said, I just want to get out of the house um, and especially for the kids. I'm not really going to talk much about um, my brother-in-law and how he passed just because obviously it's still fresh and new and it's very emotional and I don't want to cry anymore. I've cried the past three days. My eyes have been swollen and our family is just going through a lot right now. Um, maybe I'll touch on the subject a little later, but right now I'm not. I'm about to leave right now. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I'll probably just vlog while we are at Michael's, and then when I get back, I'm not sure if I'll vlog or not. I do have to clean the house, as you guys can see. It, it is a huge mess. I've let it go the past few days. So maybe if I feel up to it, I will film some type of cleaning video. I had like five videos pre-filmed and also edited it. So that's the only reason why you guys have actually been seeing videos uploaded still to my channel just because I've already had those videos planned to upload and they were all pre-filmed. Um, there was a few that I just had to add like music to, but other than that, it was pretty much all edited. So that's the only reason why you guys have been seeing videos. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna stop talking because we we're supposed to leave like five minutes ago and I'll pick up the camera once we get to my <laughs> No, not with all the colors, Ryan. What's wrong? Can I make a bird out of orange too? No, just the green. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is make it into a take the whole thing in your hand. Take the whole thing, everything. There. Perfect. Oh my gosh, it's great. Now make that into a okay. Oh, you dropped it, buddy. Oh my gosh, it's done. I have you to do it. Yeah. You're making a beak rain? Yeah, how do you like it? My friend's hair. Just stick that in straight. No. Are you, are you cutting up the feathers, Ryan? Okay. Not me. Are you mad? You mad? I left your snacks in the car. I have to go get them, okay? Okay? I'll go get them. Okay. Ryan, look at all the feathers in Asher and Julianne's. We have a lot of feathers in yours. So we just finished with the craft and Madison is not happy. She's so mad. We're going to go to the car and see if we can get you some snacks, okay? She's mad. I'm waiting for Ryan to finish up. He has to get like some strength for his bird and then we're gonna try to walk around for a little bit in here. I wanna see if I can find a scrapbook. So, probably have to go back out to the car to get Ryan, not Ryan, Madison some snacks, because it's probably the only way I'm gonna be able to go shopping. And then we'll probably head home. Maybe we'll stop and get lunch, I'm not sure, but. Are you hungry for lunch already? You just had breakfast not even an hour ago. Yeah, say hi. All right, so I'm just gonna wait for Ryan, and then we will 
I guess shop around for a little bit and then head home. I just wanted to get out of the house for a little bit because we were cooped up for the past few days. So that's what we're gonna do. All right guys, so it is so much later. It is actually almost seven o'clock. It is 6.43 to be exact right now, but I did wanna share with you guys a few things. So when I went to Michael's, I did pick up a scrapbook. I told you guys a million times that I want to make a scrapbook for the summer with the kids and they had a really great um, deal. It was buy one, get two free, which I thought was an awesome deal. So I spent $20 on one scrapbook and then I got another scrapbook for free and also some paper to put into the scrapbook, which I think is a great deal. So I want to share with you guys that. I also want to share with you guys two products that a company sent me that I think is amazing. And this is not sponsored, just let you guys know when I do share with you guys these products, nothing is sponsored. But this two scrapbooks that I bought from Michaels are really cute and I thought I would just take advantage. I wasn't planning on buying it today. I thought we're just gonna like look around and maybe go back, but I'm not sure how long the sale's gonna be. So it was buy one, get two free, and it was $19.99 with tax that came up to $21. But these are two scrapbooks that I bought. So the first one, they're two different two different sizes. This one is a little bit smaller. Um, this one says if you have family, you have everything. And that is how the scrapbook looks like. And then the second one is larger than that first one. And this one is blue and his life is made of little moments. And that's how the second one looks like. So I want to get into scrapbooking again. I used to love to scrapbook and then I just completely stopped. So the other type of scrapbook I want to start doing as well is like every year for school for the kids, making them a scrapbook for the school year, like from the first day of school all the way to the last day of school when I go to school events and stuff. So I'm gonna start doing that as well because I like to take a lot of pictures and I run out of room in my albums when I do remember to develop them. So I think by making scrapbooks, it'll just be easier. So I'm gonna start doing it for summer and then the school year. So I have these two. And then I also got this huge pack of paper and I figured this would be good for like the school year if I wanna do a scrapbook and then also for summer because it has like popsicles and ice creams and a bunch of stuff. So. This comes with, it says it has 24 different designs and 48 sheets. So that's all the different like designs it has. So I'll be using this in the scrapbook. So like I said, I spent $20 on two scrapbooks and a huge pad of paper. So if you guys are into scrapbooking, definitely check out Michaels. Now I'm gonna share with you guys two products that I received from amazing companies. Like I said, this is not sponsored and I'm not getting paid to do this review or share with you guys these products but I still want to share with you guys. So the first one is by Sashka. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. This is their Instagram handle information, but they sent me this card with it. And I like this little um, mesh bag. It came in, it came in like this mesh bag. So they are beaded bracelets. So the card says that these bracelets were hand crocheted bead by bead, which I think is amazing. So it just has a little bit of information on that card right here. But I was able to pick out three bracelets. Okay, so really quickly, what I really love about this company is they have a lot of bracelets like for different causes. They have one for autism and I got so excited and I originally put the autism bracelet in my basket, but when I was about to check out, I saw that it said child size. And then when I clicked it to see if there was any other sizes, the only option it gave me was a child size. So I ended up taking that bracelet out and then putting in um, a different bracelet. And then after I completed my order, I realized that there was an adult size, which sucks because I really would have liked that one. Um, but what I really like about them is that they, like I said, they have different bracelets for different causes. Like they have, I think, breast cancer, they have autism. They just have like a bunch of different causes. And if you purchase a bracelet for one of those causes, a small percentage goes to that organization, which I think is awesome. And the other thing I really love is they also donate to Feeding America. So I think it was 10% of their net profits go towards Feeding America. And then also if you purchase four bracelets, the nets. 10 meals for someone, which is amazing. So definitely check them out because if you purchase from them, you will also be donating to some great causes. So I'm just gonna share with you guys three that I picked out. This first one is a rose gold. Hopefully you guys can see how pretty it looks. I don't think the camera is doing it justice, but I got this rose gold one. And then I got this gray one. And then the last one is this white and gold one. So it's white and it has like gold um, beads in it as well. So they're so pretty. I love them. I actually wore the rose gold one. Ooh. I wore the rose gold and gray one today on my arm. 
and it looked so pretty. I think it would look pretty alone or even like with um, a watch. So yeah, that is how the bracelets look like. So if you guys are interested and you would like to save 30% off, just use this code Insta30. If you use Insta30, you can get 30% off your next order. They are an amazing um, company and I love that they donate to all these amazing causes. So definitely check them out. And then the other company I want to quickly talk about is, I don't even know if I'm gonna pronounce this correctly, but that is the company, I'm not even gonna try, but that's the company name. They sent me some of their skincare. So as an adult, I still suffer from acne. Ever since I was a young kid, I've always had acne. And now that I'm adult, it still happens. So they sent me their product. They sent a cute little card with my name on it. And in here, it just says um, a bunch of information about their, their product and how to use it, like directions and stuff. I can get this card out. So it just tells you all the information on how to use the product. So I definitely will be reading this, but the packaging is so cute. It came with some gray tissue paper and then inside is their product. So I haven't actually opened the box up. I did open the box and peeked, but I haven't um, taken it out the bubble wrap or anything. And I also thought it was really cute that they also sent me these little um, cotton rounds. So they sent me a pack of cotton rounds, but this is everything they sent me. I did see pictures um, online and the packaging is gorgeous online. So I'm really excited to see how it looks. So let's see, the packaging is really cute too. It has, it's like pink bubble wrap. I'm a sucker for packaging, but let's, ah, I am breaking everything. And now that I dropped this, hopefully I didn't damage it, but that's what the box looks like. Black and like a rose gold lettering. Guys, don't mind my nails, I need to redo them. Oh, what is in here? Okay, there's like a little spatula. Here with a little spatula. And what is this? This is a flawless nourishment cream. It has um, rose hip and pumpkin. That sounds awesome. I love anything with rose. So it says, I'm guessing this is step four. It has a number four on it. Let's open it up and see how it looks. It smells like, it doesn't smell like rose. It smells more like a citrusy. That's that one. Okay, let's close that up because I don't want it to dry out. I don't know if it'll dry up. Okay, so the next one I see is this little bad boy. Let's not drop this on the floor. All right, this one is, it says a clear skin elixir. This is, I guess, step three. If I didn't mention to you guys, this is supposed to help with like acne and breakouts. It's supposed to clear up your skin. So, oh, this bottle is really nice. I think they're all glass. It's really pretty. So. This is a really like light pink baby color product. That's how it looks. Oh, and it has a pump. That is awesome. I hate products that you have to pour. So I really like that it has a pump. So I'm guessing that is step three. This one, let's see what this one is. Guys, their packaging is seriously on point. How pretty is that? All right, this is step two. And this is a radiant cleanser and nectar. Oh, that is awesome. You guys, this packaging, I don't know why I'm obsessed with the package. I said this is a cleansing nectar. So this is step two. And I'm about to read the directions because I don't know if you're supposed to shake this, but as you guys can see, the top is like a darker, like peachy pink color. And then the bottom is clear, which looks really cool. So that is that one. And then there's one more thing in the box, which is obviously step one. Let me open this. So this is clarifying hydration do, step one. And this is a spray. So this says this is a clarifying hydration do, rose petal and cucumber. So that's how it looks. And then it has the little spray nozzle so like that. Yeah guys, this packaging is beautiful. I'm a sucker for packaging like I mentioned a million times. So I'm really excited to try this out. So I was told that not to, um, be alarmed, but that my face will get worse before it gets better. So basically what it's supposed to do is supposed to draw out all of the impurities and all of the bad stuff from your skin and it's going to come to the surface. So I'm probably gonna have a lot of breakouts, which will suck. So I'll probably start um, next week or something because we are going out of town. So I'll probably start it next week, 
but they did tell me that I will see like a lot of breakouts and it is gonna get worse before it gets better. And then after it all comes out to the surface, that's when it'll start getting better, which makes sense. Your skin can't get better if you're not getting all the bad stuff out. So I'm really excited to try this out. I'm really hoping that it works for my skin. I do have sensitive skin and I break out very easily. So if this product works, I will definitely repurchase it. I am gonna keep you guys updated. Um, I think I'm gonna use it for a month. I think they said you usually see results in a month or two. I'm not sure, I'll have to read it again, but I believe it was like around a month or two. So I will try this out for maybe like two months and then I'll update you guys in two months on how my skin is working. Or let me know in the comments if maybe you guys want me to um, film one video like step-by-step. Step. So the first day I use it, my first impressions on how I like it, how it felt on my skin, the smell, everything. And then every day or every other day or maybe once a week, I don't know, doing like an update video. So at the end of the week, I will show you guys my face on how it looks and I'll keep on doing that. Maybe, maybe like on Sunday nights, I will do my whole um, facial little routine and then I'll show you guys how my skin is and you guys can see every week at the end how it looks and then at the end of two months i'll show you like a before and after shot let me know if you guys would like me to do that or if you guys would just like me to just update you guys in it too much so yeah that is the last product i want to share with you guys and now i think i'm going to close out this vlog i did vlog one other day i don't really think i got a minute i think we had went to the library or something so i'm going to insert that in the beginning of this vlog it's just so it won't be too short maybe this is long because i talk a lot but yeah, that is going to end today's vlog. I'm not sure when I will be vlogging again because like I said, we are gonna be leaving town to my brother-in-law's memorial. So I'm not sure how long we'll be out of town for that. And obviously I'm not going to be vlogging that. It's not something I want to vlog. So yeah, I don't know. I guess I'll just pick up the camera again once we get back from vacation and I feel up to um, vlogging more. So anyways, I'm gonna stop talking because I ramble on so much. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos that I do upload. I have batch filmed a lot. That's another reason why you guys are seeing videos still uploaded to my channel because I have batch filmed a lot and I edit it a lot. And then the videos that I haven't really finished editing, I've been doing at night because I can't sleep at night, so I've been using that time to edit. But I have a lot of videos batch films so and most of them are like cleaning videos so definitely subscribe if you want to see these motivational videos anyways guys now i'm seriously going to close up the vlog so thanks so much for watching i'll see you guys next time